What if I told you universities convinced farmers to plow up America's grasslands with a scientific theory they knew was false? The Dust Bowl started with a lie called rain follows the plow. In the 1910s, institutions like the university claimed that breaking prairie soil would literally change the climate and make it rain more. As disaster researchers, we've studied dozens of catastrophes, and this might be one of the most cynical frauds we've encountered. During World War I, farmers borrowed massive sums to tear up millions of acres of ancient buffalo grass, the only thing holding the thin topsoil in place. When wheat prices collapsed after the war, farmers plowed even more marginal land to survive their debt. Then in 1930, the rain stopped for a decade. The result? Black blizzards that turned day into midnight. Dust so thick it buried eight-foot fences. The temperature could plummet 30 degrees in minutes as the storms rolled in. And dust pneumonia killed an estimated 7,000 people, many of them children, suffocating on pulverized topsoil. This wasn't a drought that became a disaster. This was a disaster manufactured by false science, economic greed, and government pressure to maximize production at any cost. Here's what keeps me up at night. We drained the Ogallala Aquifer the same way we plowed the plains. We need to learn the lessons.